The Huawei Mate 10 Pro is here and is one of the last big smartphones this year. Because of that, the expectations were quite high of course that it could make a lot of things different and even better. Unfortunately it's not as I hoped and here I'll show you a few things about the Mate 10 Pro which I as an old Mate 9 user don't like. Because even though there are some improvements, there are also some steps back or things that didn't change. In another video I will tell you what I like about the device. The missing headphone jack. Huawei usually was always a supporter of the headphone jack and one of the manufacturers who always introduced it as a feature. So it's surprising that it is missing this time. Yes, an adapter is included and a USB-C headphone too, but most people won't use the latter and an adapter is easy to lose or to forget. Listening while charging without an adapter also doesn't work. The best but not so cheap alternative would be Bluetooth. With this we get to the next topic, the Bluetooth standard. The Mate 10 Pro comes with Bluetooth 4.2. It would have made much more sense to directly launch it with Bluetooth 5.0 like most of the other competitors already did. With Bluetooth 5.0 comes double transmission speed, 4 times the distance, a better transfer and compression method and more. A future oriented device like the Mate 10 Pro should have this, especially because 5.0 is very suitable for Internet of Things. Hopefully they will introduce it with a future update. The storage. The Mate 10 Pro comes with 128GB internal storage. It is not extendable because the microSD card slot also vanished. So the person that is typing in the comments now that 128GB is enough for him or her, yes, it's a lot of storage but it's not enough for everyone and a limitation for many people. They basically follow the lead of Apple where Google did the same with the Pixel or other companies too. Companies like Samsung did try that before but quickly came back to the microSD card. The back. Usually I like the look and feel of glass and especially with the Note 8 I liked it a lot because it's also very scratch resistant unlike the iPhone 8. But here where you can finally expect wireless charging because the manufacturer can't talk his way out of it because of the use of a conductive material like metal, it is still not supported. According to the manufacturer there was no space left. That is really unfortunate. Especially if you already have charging stations at home and if this feature is important to you. With the Google Pixel 2 and its metal back, it's understandable but with this high-end smartphone not really. Especially since even Apple adapted it. The camera. While the photo camera can impress, the video camera still disappoints. Huawei smartphones in comparison to others are 3 or 4 years behind the competition when it comes to video and the quality is also not as good as with other smartphones. Full HD still looks like 720p and 4K doesn't look like 4K. The optical image stabilization is also not the best with video and the video image quality could have been a bit better. For most users it's surely more than enough but definitely not for everyone. Until now I don't see much improvement here. The display. The Huawei Mate 9 Pro, which unfortunately wasn't available everywhere, came with a QHD Super AMOLED display in the Edge format. The Mate 10 Pro is equipped with a Full HD Plus OLED display without an Edge format. The latter may be a matter of taste, but the display itself is pretty much a downgrade. Tell me in the comments what you think about the Mate 10 Pro and what you like or don't like about it. If you like this video, I'd be happy if you'd give us a like, otherwise the dislike button is right next to it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Thank you very much for watching.